If you don't rub your noses in your mistakes, then you'll never find the causes and you'll repeat those mistakes. And that also counts for the private lives. So if you can't identify your mistake, you're going to repeat it. So one of the 25, uh, or one of the 52 mental tools is to have a kind of a flight data recorder for your own life. And the flight data recorder doesn't have to be a box, it can be a piece of paper. So whenever you take a big decision, write down your assumptions, write down your thought process. Uh, it doesn't have to be a long essay, it can be just a few words, what you really thought about it. And when it goes, when you realize that you've made a mistake, and you're going to make a mistake, and may, I made tons of mistakes in my life, but then I can go back and analyze what were my assumptions at that time, and really investigate what did I do wrong. And by learning from your mistakes, you decrease the chances that you're going to make them in the future. It's psychologically hard to do that. It's psychologically difficult to rub your noses in your own, your own mistakes but I urge you to do it because you'll get better at doing the life thing than not doing it. You will learn your weaknesses, and when you learn your weaknesses, you can find ways to circumnavigate those weaknesses in the future. It's a flight data recorder that doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't consume time or barely any time, but it's highly effective to lead a better life because you can learn from your mistakes. And then, of course, you can also learn from other people's mistakes. It's actually more elegant to learn from other people's mistakes. Uh, you get the silver medal uh, when you learn from your own mistakes. You get the gold medal if you learn from other people's mistakes. Thank you.